Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another brief tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve issues you may have with your printer on your Windows 10 device. Now I should mention that this should be able to work on earlier versions of Windows as well. I believe this method would even apply to versions as early as Windows Vista. But since we are conducting this review on a Windows 10 machine, I feel that it's important that I distinguish it as such. So this tutorial is going to be focusing on the software side of errors, meaning if your printer is actually physically damaged or the ink is messed up, then this tutorial is really not going to help you guys out. Um, you might actually have to physically clean your printer or replace parts. This is not what this tutorial is about. This is more or less just running a troubleshooting utility to see if we can resolve the error not physically opening up a printer because there are an infinite number of printers out there and it would be very impractical for me to make a video for each one. So hopefully this tool we're gonna run today will work for you guys. No guarantees, but hopefully it'll work. It's a very good first step nonetheless. So we're gonna jump right into it and we're gonna start by heading over to our start menu and we're gonna type in printer. should be listed as devices and printers and right above the control panel where it says that. So you want to left click on this. Now you want to go over to the printer section and you want to find which printer our default or current printer is. Now this is also really important in the troubleshooting process because be very mindful of what printer is currently set as default because in some cases your default printer might be a printer that's not even hooked up to your computer or it could be an old printer that just has not been removed and this can cause errors all in itself because obviously you can't print to a printer that's not there and you might just have to change your default printer and you can also delete old printers here too so if you actually right click on a printer you could left click on set as default printer and that'll set as a default printer and you can also left click on remove device if it was an old printer and you do not need it populating this list anymore. But anyway, we're going to pretend like that's not our issue today and that we actually have a legitimate concern about one of our printers. And we're going to start by right clicking on that printer. Now, if you have a lot of printers here and you're confused about what printer is your printer that you're currently trying to hook up to, usually the printer manufacturer name is included in the printer name. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. A Canon printer will typically say Canon and then whatever the model number is. Most printers, if not all, should have the model information directly on the printer, if not on the front. It should be pretty clearly visible on the side. So just keep that in mind. And the pictures also can be very helpful too because sometimes like larger, more heavy duty printers will actually have different icons in this. So it, while it won't be an exact match, in most cases it might actually kind of help you guys out to identify what printer yours is. But anyway, getting back on track here, we're going to right click on our printer and then left click on the troubleshoot option on this context menu. So at this point we can minimize out of the devices and printers window. And right now Windows will just scan for any issues. Again, this is not a guaranteed fix, but like I said, it's a pretty good first step. So it's just going to scan for different types of errors that could be causing problems of our printer here. So we see that Troubleshooter couldn't identify the problem. This is actually pretty interesting because I just did a dry run of this video a few minutes ago and I actually did receive an error. So if you see anything that says fix selected issues, you want to left click on that. Otherwise, you could left click on explore additional options. And if you go on this little option at the bottom, this is view detailed information. We get a mini log that we can see different reported items of the scan. You can also left click on this little printer icon to print. Um, I know in your most cases it probably will not print. So hopefully if you have any errors here, you can just left click on next and it should resolve any problems you have. So, and then I would definitely recommend restarting your computer at that point. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.